So today we're going to look at adding custom temperature monitors to a couple of Cisco devices. Um, so this does require a little bit of SNMP knowledge, but uh, Google is your friend. You can get through this, um, and I'm going to make it really easy with you and show you exactly what you need to do, which is compile the Cisco private MIBs, which you'll be able to get from the Cisco site, um, create your custom monitoring index, and then add the monitors to the specific devices that you would like to monitor. Let's go. So the first thing that we're going to do is go up to the system tab, go into resource management and pull up the MIB management here. So this is going to take us into a MIB compiler. So don't be too intimidated. This is not that difficult, to be honest. Um, in this case, I've already preloaded the Cisco MIBs. Um, pretty common for MIBs to have dependencies. So uh, Cisco will kind of lead you through this on their website, as will most vendors. Um, you just have to load them in order. Um, I've already done that here. If you need to compile the MIBs yourself, you would click on the compile button, browse to the MIB files. If you want to organize them, probably a good idea. Put uh, Create a folder, put them in the Cisco folder, compile. You're good to go. So now that that's already done, we're going to select a specific Cisco 3560 switch here. We want to make sure that we know exactly which one of the MIBs that we want to be pulling. And pulling is is just basically an SNMP term for I'm going to go and see what value is in that particular MIB at that point in time. Um, so we're going to go down here, go into the private or enterprise MIBs, keep scrolling down, go into a Cisco, keep scrolling down. You can see how these have a very organized hierarchy to them. Cisco management, Cisco environmental monitor MIB. Again, we're going to scroll down a little bit more. And here we are, we can get into the monitor temperature, so that's what we're going to go into. We're going to walk that, and there we are right now. There's the status value. So right now, I'm sitting at 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, so now that we know exactly what the sysoid is that we want to be looking at, or the, the sysoid, we're going to go and create our global index. So we're going to go to resource performance management, and global index settings. And we are going to add ourselves a custom index. So we're going to go right up here to the top and click on the Add Custom Index button. So you are going to need to probably read through this to figure out how things, how, how the formulas really work. SNMP is in some senses, it's, it's a lot like another language but it's really not that bad when you start uh, getting a little bit more familiar with it. So we will put the name, Cisco temperature, that's what we want to pull, um, predefined measurement type of Celsius, the type, I've already figured this one out for us, so we're going to do index, one, zero, and then we are going to type the name of the status, and this is just a uh, a string value, something you, you could type just temperature in here if you want. Personally, I like to put the name of the the actual MIB, the, the cisoid that we're going to be pulling. It just makes, makes it a little easier for me later on. Um, MIB management, we're going to go back in here. Private, Enterprise, Cisco, go down to the Cisco management. There we go. Environmental, there we go. There we go, temperature status. Move that up so you can actually see what we're doing here. Open this guy up and it is the, not the description, it is the value. So for the interface instance label, the definition OID that uh, we just created, this is really nothing more than a, uh, a description. So that's all you really need to worry about there. And now we're going to actually use the formula. So if you wanted to add multiples together, multiple different cisoid values, or compare them, or things like that, you can get pretty complicated with the things you can do with um, SNMP. Uh, in this case, we're going to do something very simple. All we're going to do is pull one value and track it over a time period, which is the environmental, the, um, the temperature MIB here. So there we go. 
we're all in there. Now we're going to click on the test button. If you have any issues, you will fail at this point, so make sure you're going to get to this point. Um, we're going to select the device. We'll go to the 3560, click OK, and now we're going to hit click the resolve button. If there are multiple instances, we would get that here. In this case, we've only got the one. We're going to click start, and it's going to start collecting data, and it's going to go out to that switch and actually pull that specific cisoid right now for the SNMP value, which is 45. So this switch right now is running at about 45 degrees Celsius. And that here at the top, Cisco temperature added successfully. Now we're going to go back into the global index settings and go all the way to the end where the user defined are, and we're going to find the Cisco temperature, and we're actually going to define thresholds. So what a threshold does is it allows me to have IMC when it pulls the system and if it's less than or greater than a certain value it's going to allow me to then raise an alarm. So in this case I'm going to make it greater than 51 degrees Celsius. If it's that one time I am going to raise a minor warning. If it's greater than 60, 61 I'm going to do a major warning perhaps, maybe a critical warning. Right? Pulling interval here is 300 seconds, which is about five minutes. You can have that customizable as you want. And again, depending on what you're trying to pull, you might want it to be greater than that value for two, three polling periods in a row. So now that we've created that threshold, we're actually going to have to apply this pull to a specific device or a couple of devices in this case. So we're going to go again down to the user defined, pick the Cisco temperature here at the bottom, and we're going to go click select device. Now that we've selected device, we're going to take the Cisco 2811, so that's a Cisco router, as well as a Cisco 3560 switch, and we're going to click OK. And these are the two devices that we want to, to pull for temperature values. IMC is going to do a little sanity check, make sure that we can actually do that here. And uh, we're going to click OK. And there we go, it is adding devices. Click uh, succeeded. And I jumped the gun a little bit on that, so let's go back in. I didn't wait for the 3560. So uh, always good practice to actually wait till things are done. User defined. Cisco temperature. Select device. 3560. There we go. Click OK. Again, we'll double check that. Scroll down here to the bottom. Click OK. Now we're going to wait. If we want to, we can click on the succeeded button and actually go in and double check exactly what, what we're actually monitoring here. So we've got the right um, temperature on the Cisco router as well as the Cisco switch. So the next and last thing we're going to do here is add a custom performance view. So in this case I already had one called Cisco temperature but there happens to be no data in it. So I want to make sure that when I pull up that performance view I have some data in there. So I'm going to go in here and click modify and I am going to scroll down to the bottom to the user defined. We're going to scroll down again to the bottom to the Cisco temperature and we're going to click add and now we're going to move over here so you can see this. Click on the device button and we're going to select the devices that we want to to display in this particular performance view. So the Cisco 2811 and the Cisco 3560, these two devices which we were monitoring in the last step, now the monitors will be shown in this particular device view. They have now added, monitored, we'll click save, um, here we have the performance view where we have the ability to do some things, trend line, data grid, um, at a glance. Um, I personally like the trend line and we can also assign access rights. So if you've got operator groups set up, you can actually um, prevent or allow specific groups from seeing this. There we go. Um, we've got the two instances done, Cisco temperature, all this is good. So let's click on this and take a look. So of course right now we have no data in here, but at least gives you an idea that uh, what this will look like when it starts having data. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.